Alright YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to fix these. I found this style of uh, gas tank. You always get these broken away and you have to buy a new one, right? Well, today I'm going to show you how to fix that. I'm going to put it just like one or two turns onto the tank. As long as it goes on, it stays. Yep, just like that. Enough to where you can still press this down. This little ring. Just a second. Yeah, it's going on. So, so there's your ring. Alright. What you're going to need is one of these. I'm going gonna, gonna to wait and let that heat up, and then I'll show you how to fix. Uh, fix this broken problem. Alrighty, so it's hot enough now. It's not at its top temperature, but it's hot enough to melt this plastic, so we're going to unplug it so it doesn't get any hotter. Pay attention to the heat, because if it starts cooling down, you're going to need to uh, plug it back in. Alright, so what you're going to want to do... Oops, I bumped the camera. You can see that there. You press the plastic to get it. That's um, I've already melted it here a little bit. Um, I need to plug it back in. But what you're going to want to do is you pick a spot to melt and you melt that area. You press into it, just like I am now. You melt a good amount of an area and then you press the plastic that you melted out back into that spot. Just like that. My iron's getting a little cold. This is what it acts like when the, the, the iron is getting a little cold. Now this is what I use this iron for. Um, I really don't use it for soldering. But if I did decide to use this iron for soldering again, you need to take this and really wire brush it really really well until you start seeing you know clean metal and it's hot enough now so so you just kind of pick an area and press it through and then press that plastic get it off the iron and put it back in where it's supposed to go just like that My iron's getting a little hot, so I'm going to have to unplug it again. You do not want these irons to get too hot because it'll just disintegrate this plastic. Let me press it back into a spot. Just want to, you, melt, you want to melt down far enough to where it's not going to break again. But you don't want to melt down too far to where you're melting into this piece. Not You're going to want to melt into this piece, of course, but you don't want to melt into this actual piece that you know, this piece that's under it that is pressing on to seal the gas tank. So you press on the spot. This one you can go real far on. And then you just kind of reform the plastic. It doesn't have to be pretty or nice looking. As long as it's functional, that's all that matters. Press it back in and around. Iron's getting cold again, so I'm going to plug it back in. You really have to Keep watch on the heat of these irons. Or these soldering irons or soldering guns or whatever you want to call it. Now don't use the electric soldering guns. The ones that you press the button and they get red really fast. Don't use those. You can go ahead and try, but I, I doubt those will work very well. Kind of press the melt. If you notice, my voice is kind of echoey. I'm sitting in a empty garage, and that horn you just heard is to a little Spitfire. I can't remember what what maker makes it. I don't know what they are though. I know they're Spitfires. MG Midgets and Spitfires are almost identical. They have like the same body panels. 
but um, so yeah, you just continue this all the way around like I'm like I'm doing. I'm pressing into it, melting quite a bit of plastic, and then you just kind of reform it, press it back into those spots. Now you don't need to do this where it hasn't melted or where it hasn't broken. You don't need to melt it, but where it has broken, of course, you need to melt it and reform it. And if you want to make it look pretty, you can make it look pretty. But I really don't care as long as it works. I'm melt this. I'm going to melt that. All that area, and then I'm going to press it back into where it's supposed to go. Don't try this with fire because it does not work at all. And make sure it's um, gasoline and oil free because if you don't, it uh, doesn't work as well. I sprayed this off before I started this video with carburetor cleaner to make sure it's absolutely clean. I'm going to re melt some of these spots. My hair's getting cold again, so I'm going to put it back in. Melt that spot up again. And then reform it. Now after you're done doing this all the way around, while you're melting it, make sure you go a little further than you need. But after you're done, make sure you're careful with it, but you should be fine. Just don't screw it down too hard, like I always do. That's why I always break them. But yeah, works fine now. It seals. There's no problem. Hope you have a good one, YouTube. If you could uh, subscribe, rate, comment, that'd be awesome. See you later, YouTube. Bye.